Hey guys, this is Connor from Features Analytica. This is a tutorial on how to trade the last hour of the day effectively with the Polarity ATI. There's a reason why the last hour of the day is called power hour, and it's definitely the second best time of day to trade the Polarity ATI. And depending on your trading style, it can actually be the best time to trade the Polarity ATI. First off, we see a very large amount of regressive action during the last hour. Although volatility is higher than with previous times, you are gonna get a very large amount of chop. This is actually extremely advantageous for the Polarity ATI if you're trading it in regression mode. The workload on the trader of switching between regression and trend is significantly less during this hour than it is during the rest of the day. You're gonna mostly spend your time in regression mode with small amounts of time in trend to capture choppy action that would be impossible to capture in regression mode. I'll give you guys some examples of that later in this video where I'm in trend mode yet I'm capturing choppy action. Another huge advantage of trading this hour is it actually stops you from over trading. There's only about four to six trades during this hour. That's gonna keep you on a very tight schedule and make sure you're sticking to your trading plan. As you can see, entropy is low, meaning that we're gonna be an arm both in trend mode. However, we end up getting it filled into a regressive trade here. It's one of the best parts of the strategy is that it's self-selective up to an extent. We're in trend mode there, but it actually automatically detects that a regressive trade would be a better entry here. So even though we're in trend mode, we get filled into a long trade, where logic would assume that if you were in trend mode on a regular strategy, you would have gotten filled short here. But because it detected that there was an imbalance of buyers here, we got filled long. When you're trading this last hour of the day, you're gonna to wanna to stick with a 15 tick take profit and a 15 tick stop loss, as well as using the settings I've included in the description of the video, which are the default settings that the Polarity ATI comes with now. And right here is that fill. As you can see that even though we were in trend mode, we got filled on a choppy trade. Another great reason to trade the last hour of the day is the fact that you actually have quite a bit of time in between trades. With high amounts of volume, yet a more symmetrical market structure, you're gonna see a lot less imbalances and a lot less false imbalances. This gives you time to think and maintain confidence in your entries, which is very important as traders. If we're not confident in our entries, we're more likely to second guess ourselves and take ourselves out of trades early, even if they were gonna be more profitable if we didn't do that. One thing I want you guys to take note of here, I'm using a little bit more of an advanced tactic here. I have it in regression mode, but I'm only armed in the long direction meaning it's looking for a long imbalance, but it's gonna go short when it finds that. The reason for this is that I want you guys to take a look at the entropy, meaning the delta and the price correlation right now, and you'll see that delta and price have maintained high correlation even during this chop, meaning we're actually likely going to get a breakout here. One of the options you could do to capture this exact same move that I do here is put it in auto arm. Here, I actually switch the logic around, maintaining right before this trade here, and we switch it into arm short and trend, which is essentially gonna be the same direction as the disarm long. If this is confusing to you, I totally understand. And it's all included in the guidebook, which is gonna teach you everything about this. Another thing I want you guys to notice is you see that blue line on the bottom? That's our free reverse strength indicator, which can be downloaded in the description. Essentially, right now during this time, you're gonna see a lot of times that price is gonna follow this line. It's gonna regress back to that, even though that's not a moving average, you'll find that price is gonna follow that a lot of times during the last hour of the day. So keep that in mind when you're trading this strategy. That being said, we're doing the most basic move here. We're keeping it in regression mode, as you can see, price is likely going to ping pong off of the green and red lines up to an extent, meaning arm both is gonna be on and we're gonna keep it in regression mode. That's the only action we're taking here. We're queuing up the next trade. We're doing nothing to change the parameters of the trade we're already in. All right, so pay attention here. We get filled on a profitable trade there, but we're instantly entered into a long trade. That's gonna happen sometimes there. Because we had queued it up, now we're basically finding that regressive action to that blue line. You'll notice that it maintains a channel of movement. We're looking for micro movements here. 15 ticks is really not a lot in terms of the market. It's actually a 0.1% move on ES. So we're making around $500 per winning trade, even though the market only moves 0.1% for us to maintain that. That's the futures leverage that we're talking about. We love that leverage. It gives us a lot of power in terms of making money in areas where you wouldn't really see that in areas like stocks or options. That being said, leverage can be dangerous. So make sure you have your appropriate risk parameters set. I have server side risk parameters as well as client side ones. 
I've actually almost exclusively been trading the last hour of the day recently. I've enjoyed waking up late and having a nice morning before I hop on the computer. It's very, very helpful for you guys who are on the Pacific Coast like I am, where you have to wake up at 6.30 a.m. to trade. Massive pain in the butt there for a lot of us, but this might help you out if you don't really want to do that. I do envy you guys on the East Coast having to get up at 9.30 each day really isn't that bad for trading. Anyway, that was our last fill of the day, giving us $1,600 of profit in a relatively short amount of time. So it was pretty successful and we traded that very well. It's pretty standard for the market to act like this with a good amount of volume, but a low amount of actual price movement. You're gonna see volatility, but no kind of big trending action. It's exactly what we're looking for when we're trading in a regressive style with the Polarity ATI. So if you want a good way to get into a regressive style of trading with the Polarity ATI, that's a good way to do it. Also guys, today is the last day of the New Year's 2023 sale for 23% off. If you guys are interested in that, check out the link in the description. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching today and I will see you guys again very shortly. I have some awesome content coming up, already recorded, already edited, and it's gonna come out really, really quickly. So subscribe if you wanna see that and I'll see you next time.